everybody right now what we're gonna do is just go through realm royale reforge assassin class tip sheet the link for this tip sheet is going to be in the description of the video you can click on that link you can go through and look at all these different weapons all the different um damages depending on rarity of those weapons but pretty much i just wanted to take a quick minute to just go through them so as an assassin your class weapons meaning the weapons you can forge and the weapons that are going to come out of your chests are going to be the sniper which is a single powerful shotgun it takes three 2.9 2.8 depending on the rarity for you to reload it it is one of the best most damage inducing weapons in the entire game the other weapon is the heirloom it has eight rapid shots that can do from 300 to 350 and 400 damage depending on rarity and then you have your basic assassin abilities the sensor drone allows you to have a short um, burst that allows you to see an opponent behind walls the decoy gives you uh, increased movement speed and literally pops out a decoy and allows you to run away fast while being invisible for a short period of time the conch or concussion grenade allows you to not only concussion yourself away from an opponent or away from wherever you're at in a very very quick fashion or it allows you to obviously knock your opponent out of the way in a very quick fashion there's the smoke screen which when placed down it makes a circle you can see that circle when you enter that circle whether on your mount or on your feet it will make you invisible for a short period of time and then there is your defaulted blink ability which is your movement ability and we're going to get into this a little bit because the assassin's kind of an interesting class and as we get through the video you guys will see why but i think that some of the most popular load loadouts right now are the decoy conch and double invisibility uh the conch the blink can work together to create an incredible ability to move far quickly um, the conch actually cools down faster than the blink. That's right. You heard me correctly the concussion grenade After using it will cool down faster than your actual movement ability And I think as we get to the video, you'll see why that's amazing and important um, There's the sensor concussion some players choose if they're sniping from distances to use concussion to see their opponents and Be able to pick them off when they peek the concussion and the blink and then there's your double what we call decoy double invisibility which is kind of becoming a little bit of a meta right now where you can go into invisibility leave a decoy and then immediately pop your smoke screen and remain invisible to get off snipe shots while your opponent really doesn't have an idea of exactly where you're at and then you've got your your, your abilities that you can pick up out of any chest you can choose to carry these you can mix and match these there's a healing station there's a grounding shock there's a um firebomb there's the uh barricade and the turret and of course the fortification you can never remember the name of fortification because i never use it I'm not saying it's bad i just don't use it here's a couple of ideas for some unique setups you can do with this class that i wouldn't suggest necessarily if you're trying to be a competitive super sweaty player at some point that you're going to use these but they're certainly fun and they're and they're somewhat a little bit irritating to the people you're playing with uh the conch up uh, and then place a firebomb as they land right down at it and then begin shooting them I've had some friends on console tell me this is very effective. They love it and it pisses off players Not that that's our goal, but that's what happens And then there is the I call this the double doink the pop them and conk them Basically you come around a corner you hit them with the grounding shock and just as they're coming down You hit them with the conk and then you snipe them out of the air or you heirloom them a couple of times This is a way to really destroy somebody pretty quickly um, using those two offensive items together you know the ideal metas for assassin are going to generally be the use of its class specific equipment you can really get creative if you're not a sniper you want to spam you certainly can use the last two loadouts and have some success in casual matches additionally you can certainly mix and match neutral weapons but we will cover those in probably another video um so with that said guys here's some gameplay here's some examples i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel Make sure you check me out on TikTok, and I stream on Sundays, Mondays, and Wednesdays on twitch.tv forward slash marmytank. Enjoy. Once you've landed, undoubtedly you found whatever you could to survive. You'll see here that when I stop this, I basically have a healing station, a conch, my movement ability, a slug, and an heirloom. I found myself a class chest, got myself a sniper. Now I'm ready to show you guys some of the movement ability of the assassin starting with the concussion grenade it's pretty simple you simply turn yourself around in the direction that you want to go throw your concussion grenade and there you go 
you'll see here that you can kind of practice this and you can get an idea. That's just a simple standing still. I look to see with my marker that it's about 39 meters in game. I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna show you guys how to dismount your horse, get a little more momentum, get a little bit further. I'll turn around. You'll see that I can mark it and it's about 49 roughly meters away. Now I'm gonna get a running start. I'm gonna go actually even a little bit faster and I'm really gonna like throw myself this time. Look at how far I go here. I look back, it's in the 56 meter range. So about 10 meters further than what I was going with those other two items combined. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do a conk along with your blink. Bam, this was nearly 70 meters. So that's just an idea of what you can expect when you conk and use the blink or conk by yourself, whether standing still, whether gaining momentum, you really have to just feel it out for yourself. But that's one of the current metas in the game of Rum Royale Reforged is to concussion grenade yourself and then blink at the end of it to get maximum distance. Here's a fight with a newer player to the game. I only say that, of course, because they didn't destroy me. Here's me using some of this loadout in a way that it was designed in a very simple way. I gain position using the concussion grenade. I give myself a better angle. I'm able to snipe him, chicken him, chase him, and finish him off all while using the concussion grenade really as my movement ability. And then here you can see me doing it again. I went for a trick shot, I missed. But you can see that that concussion grenade, although it's considered an offensive ability, it is a very powerful tool in order to get game position as well as move distances in a very quick amount of time. Combining that with the decoy will allow you to literally conk yourself in the air invisible over your opponents. Here's an example of what a lot of the good players will do. They'll put their decoy out, hoping to catch the other player peeking from a distance and then get an opportunity to snipe them, just like I did right there, while they're aiming at the decoy. This is very common with people using the decoy in their assassin loadout. I then use my blink to try and reposition and get a little bit better angle, so on and so forth. As I'm nearing the end of this game, there's five other opponents left. And I think to myself, I really need to rotate here because I'm just outside of the circle. So once again, I utilize that concussion grenade to literally launch myself just for safety purposes. I hit the decoy and I get myself into a better position, much closer to the circle. Again, just another utilization of the concussion grenade to move myself more so than using my actual movement ability, which is my blink to get myself into better positions in a faster way. And let's just be honest, it looks pretty cool when you're just flying through the air after you con concussion grenade yourself. It's pretty awesome. I had just finished fighting with another player. We both chickened each other. I went ahead and used the decoy plus the conch to move myself into a position to be able to fight this person coming from a direction that I knew off to my right that they were going to be coming from. There's now only two players remaining besides myself. I'm potioning up. I've got the kit that I would, you know, desire to have at this point. It's not completely decked out. My armor's not completely decked out, but it's good enough for me to win, I think, at least at this point. So let's see what happens at the end of this game. At the end of this game, I don't know exactly how skilled these two players are. I do know that they're not aggressive. I try to figure out where they're both located at. I immediately notice that there's a warrior off to my right. I give him a little, let him know that I'm there with a the conch. And all of a sudden I notice this mage below me. One sniper, one shot with the heirloom. Gold sniper finishes the chicken off. Now it's 1v1, myself and the warrior. And if you're new or relatively new to this game, you're probably gonna wanna play this a little cautious against a warrior 1v1. You're probably gonna be a little nervous. Maybe you're going for your first win ever on the game. and understandable that you might have some sweaty palms at this point in time heck i've been playing this game for three and a half years and i know my hands were a little sweaty just doing this tutorial for you i continue to pepper this guy to try and keep him away from me i throw my conch grenade at him 
I used my decoy to see if I can get a little bit of a peek on him, and certainly that does work. And now I've got him probably down to just about one or two tap. I hit him one more time with a Kong for good measure. I know he's hurt. It's just a matter of getting good shots off now. He messes up and panics. I finish him off. He pretty much surrenders. And voila. We're doing a tutorial video for beginners. And we just so happen to get ourselves a dub. In toxic fashion, we allow the decoy to finish him off. Hey guys, by no means is that a full like array of all of the capabilities of the assassin. But I think that that's a pretty good idea of an easy kit to learn this character on. If you're going to play sniper, heirloom, or even if you're not going to play, you know, sniper, it's, it's a good idea to be able to, you know, get some maneuverability using that conch get some maneuverability you know away from a fight that you might conk yourself into by blinking out of it using your decoy and certainly there are so many other potential you know combinations that you can put together in order to really be a successful assassin i hope that as a newer or beginner player to realm royale reforge some of this information is helpful to you to at least get to see what some of these things look like that maybe you hear us talk about when we're streaming or making other videos I hope that you guys enjoy the video. I'm gonna leave my email at the bottom. I'm gonna leave a link to this tip sheet that I had at the beginning at the bottom, as well as a link to the sheet that has all of the different damage ranges and all of the different cooldowns for every single thing that's in the game right now. I appreciate you guys coming through. I hope that you'll like and subscribe. I hope that you'll check me out on TikTok. I hope that you'll come by and see me stream live on twitch.tv4 slash Tank. Until next time, you guys, I'll see you in the realm.